back here on the program. We're hanging out with Bill Maher. Um, before I run down the best and worst, uh, I, we were talking before about the guys that you watched. Did you ever have any actual practical mentors, people who helped guide you through the tough parts of the career? Well, I would say Steve Allen was a guy who really uh, made a point of doing that for me. Well, uh, him and Jack Parr, I mean, they're, they're late night. They're, they're talk show television in the world. Right. I mean, ja I mean, certainly Steve Allen invented The Tonight Show and did it for the first three years of the show. Um, and, you know, he, everybody who has ever done a talk show owes a certain debt to Steve Allen. Let me ask you some questions in terms of best and worst and tell me if you think, okay, best U.S. president ever? George Washington. Best thing George Bush did as a president? Left. <laughs> I wanted to... Uh... I want it noted for the record that answer counts as a cop out, but okay. He, he, did he do anything good? Uh, yes, he he avoided a shoe. <laughs> <laughs> he did have great reflexes, didn't he? Uh, what's the uh, what's the uh, one thing that you appreciate about Rush Limbaugh? He defended me after that 9/11 comment. What's the worst thing in your opinion about Barack Obama? He's uh, I hate to say it, but he needs a little George Bush in him. He needs he 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 is too nice. He needs to drag this country to the places it needs to be dragged to. You know, when they asked Dick Cheney once, they said to him, you know, most of the people are against the war in Iraq. And Cheney said, so? <laughs> in other That's words, we got elected. You've done your part, people. Now it's up to us. You have an opinion? Go Twitter it to Rick Sanchez. <laughs> But we're going to do what we have to do. <laughs> and I wish Barack Obama had a little of that in him. Do you yeah. think he's got it in him or it's being coached out of him? I don't know. No, I think it's his nature to be conciliatory uh, and to try to bring people together. And, you know, it's sort of his background. I mean, when you're black in America, you're always kind of having to do that. And he's a mixed race guy. I mean, everything in his life has been about bringing people together. But maybe this is the one job where you have to kind of have a different skill set. So it's still early in his presidency. I mean, uh, he, he seems a little to go along. Mm -hmm. I was hoping that we were going to get a real new sheriff in town. But this sheriff is still a little too cozy with the kind of corporate bloodsuckers who continue to suck this country dry. And uh, not this country, my country. <laughs> uh, <laughs> your country's still wet. We're going to you, what's the best thing about owning a gun? You can shoot someone <laughs> who's, uh, well, I mean, you, you know what? I, I, you'll laugh at me, but uh, the other day uh, I came home from a little trip to Palm Springs and my little dog, I could tell something was wrong. He was like completely shaken. And my friend came over from next door and he said, you know, three wolves jumped the fence and almost got shadow. Your dog? Yeah, in broad daylight. Those are some ballsy wolves. That ex aren't they? Mm -hmm. So, you know, and he said, and uh, the, when they're in packs like that, they go after you too. Well, three wolves? Come on. Yeah. So right the next day when I... <laughs> These are teeth marked from an actual timber wolf really? that was on the set. When they, and they, I let them have the chair? It's all yours, buddy. You, you did have trouble getting guests at the beginning. Yeah, we did. <laughs> I'll tell you, the wolf was very entertaining. <laughs> so, what did you say? so the next day when I went up to play basketball, I brought my gun. I went to play basketball with a friggin' 357 Magnum. I was like, if these wolves come out of the thing, you know, they're going to, you, you want a piece of me, wolf? You think you're going to eat shadow? We'll see about that. Real time airs on HBO Canada. Bill Maher, everybody. Check it out. We'll be right back with Jimmy K. Fox.